like I'm saying, like we have a justice system that says that we have free will, but when you're mathematically able to calculate like the way how someone's able to grow up and think, like how do you put someone in jail and punish them for an action that they basically had no control over? Like, how do we, like, do we restructure our justice system at that point? I don't... Well, I mean, I feel like our justice system needs restructuring in general. But mm -hmm. for, like, this, I don't feel like you, you can really restructure the justice system until you have a vast majority of people agreeing that it needs to, like, be restructured to, to a determinist standpoint. Uh -huh. A lot of people don't don't feel like that our, our fate's predetermined because of like the concept of choice that we, well, that we believe we have. Well, based off of like what we've been talking about, like, do you believe in determinism still? Like that kind of your actions are going to be predetermined or do you believe we have free will? Because you basically can't believe in both at the same time. I, yeah, but okay, the, the part of like determinism that I kind of like, what, the way it was explained... And, is yeah it's it's if it's based you're more likely to do something because of your past experience i agree with that completely if you're gonna say x y and z is gonna equal z y and x 100 percent of the time then no like i can't i can't believe that because yeah it's but like, that's it, what like, hard determinism believes is that because of x y and z you're gonna do z y and x yeah then I, I guess i can't really like agree with that then at that standpoint because that's it, it doesn't make sense when there's so many uh independent or yeah independent variables mm -hmm. when we when you want to talk about uh fate and uh, how your life is gonna go yeah and it's like See, exactly go on yeah if, and if you want to look at it from like if like a lot of people that like like to look at it logically and like with science and things like that like if you have a lot of independent variables it's almost impossible to predict what's going to happen because there's just so mm -hmm. many things that could, that could change and throw it throw it off yeah exactly and you know one of those indep independent like variables is like our consciousness and like the way how we think is like individuals you know and like um the way how people kind of just get like moments of like inspiration to like do something like just randomly or like without any previous thought or inclination you know like none of your life experiences gave you that thought or a subsequent like thought to like do that that's why it comes out of nowhere you know it's like do you have no idea like what like caused that you know and i think those are the variables that like there is absolutely no way that determinism could account for because they kind of come from an outside source you know kind of it's like that outside source to me is kind of like um like I don't know, like, I guess, like, the, the, the energy and, like, force kind of create out, created throughout, like, the universe, you know what I mean? Because, like, just really, uh -huh. that just really depends on what you believe in, though. Yeah. If you believe in, like, karma and energies and, exactly. and that's, influence around you. That's what I was going to say, too, is that, like, this varies from, like, religion to religion, you know, like, what that energy and, like, that influence is, whether if you're a Christian, if it's God, Muslim, if it's Allah, or... You know, whether it's karma or if you just believe that the universe itself has its own energy and can speak to you or something. Like, if you believe in the ether or, like, your sixth senses or, or your sixth sense or whatever, you know. There's something that can just kind of give you kind of an extra thing of intelligence that you didn't know that there was, you know. And that can cause you to act a certain way that you wouldn't have acted before. Because, like, people, like, change, you know. Yeah, but to a certain extent, like, there's only so much you can account for with a person's change. Like, people can change, but the only true way I feel like you can, like, you could say, like, that there'll be a complete change, or, like, like that's kind of, like, random and unaccounted for, is, like, maybe with, um, like, if they had, like, a brain, like, damage or injury, something like that, that, like, messes with their, like, their psyche up there. Mm -hmm. Um, but, like, as, as, like, a person, like, a lot of people, like, they can change, but it takes time and work and development they, there's like always you know fallbacks like previous habits and things like that so kind of i guess it kind of just really depends on the outside belief system that you follow or believe in i mean yeah like ultimately like 
I feel like it kind of does like come down to like what you believe in though. You know what I mean? Like if you believe in um if you like believe in like I you know god damn it actually I don't know where the fuck I was going. God damn it. You you could say like like well in my opinion. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. I was trying to give my belief. For some reason I thought I was going against Christianity again. Okay. okay. All right. You're good. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I like I don't want to think too deep yeah, into this. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Okay. The conversation, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'll start from kind of again. Yeah. So, kind of, I guess it like really just depends on like the belief system that you follow. Yeah, like I mean, ultimately it's gonna come down to like your personal beliefs and like how that influences like your actions and like your behavior. Like if you want my okay, my honest opinion is like I'm not like a hard determinist but like they kind of i believe determinism and free will can coexist like at the same time like philosophers have like debated that they can't coexist and i'm i'm gonna be the big p and i'm gonna fucking cut the sword down the middle and say no they can't exist at the same time i'm fucking splitting this debate dude like i'm tired of these philosophers saying that they can't all right they can exist at the same time because you can have predetermined outcomes but it's you can have pr free will existing inside them, you know? It's like, let's say you're born, right? And that is the first footnote of your life. Jeremy was born. And then the ending footnote is automatically predetermined. Jeremy will die because I was born. And life or death is a guarantee, you know? And that's its own way of determinism. And then everything I do inside of that is up to my free will, you know? And that's its own way of determinism. But free will still exists. Free will then, exists yeah. at the same time as my fate being predetermined. But then, at the same time, though, like, the determinists would just argue that, like, all your decisions were, like, basically set in, in stone for you for, um, the, the second you're born to just to lead you all the way up to your death. Yeah, that's true that, like, a determinist would, like, argue that. However... The thing is, is like people grow and people change, you know, and like we talked about earlier, like you have those outside sources of like inspiration and like faith that like lead you to do something else. Those are determined factors that are based off of that are also can be based off of outside factors like another person. You know what I mean? And they could get like an inspiration to like go do something else that can't be determined. You know what I mean? Well, like what? What could like what could be something I just can't? It's like determine. like just an just an ultimate choice to like just decide to say, fuck it. Like I'm gonna move somewhere. I'm gonna move like to this place, and I'm just gonna Uber until I can afford like an apartment or something. Yeah, but then that 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 you, the determinist would just bring the same argument again that you all your previous choices influenced you. Yeah. Do, so that you ended up doing it. <sighs> And that's, and like I said earlier, dude, that's the problem with determinism is like, they're just going to argue ultimately that you can just, if you knew every single thing about somebody's life, you could make the, you could make the accurate guess, you know? And like, that's, it's make, it's ultimately going to come down to your beliefs, like we said. But I personally believe that believing in determinism is actually a kind of creating a defeatist and negative mindset because then you don't create that like responsibility for your actions you know because i believe because there was a study done that said uh where they um told people or i think it was a philosopher was talking about it where like there's a study on like neuroscience done where excuse me oh Ooh, man excuse me but um they told people that they were trying to fix their um ocd by putting a microchip in their head and they said that the way it was fixed was that they would be monitoring their actions and then by monitoring their actions that they actually had no free will but the illusion was that they did have free will and so then consequently the people who were told this started creating like having worse actions like because of it and started acting out and then when they were in jail and when they were testifying in court they said but your honor i have no free will like all of my auction all of my actions are being like monitored by somebody else so like just saying that like your actions are predetermined by somebody kind of impulsively incentivizes people to act worse because they think that they can't control their actions you know that's kind of crazy because that just starts to call into question like human nature and like are we just naturally evil or are we naturally yeah like yeah that's right yeah and it's crazy how like influenced we are just by being told like how we're supposed to act you know what i mean 
and then it's like society is like pressuring us to act a certain way and stuff and then when you're told you don't have free will you can just kind of justify all of the negative actions that you've been doing you know and that's ultimately in my opinion the problem with determinism is that it creates a negative mindset for people and doesn't take in doesn't take any social like responsibility for people and then just allows people to be bad people and just be like oh i was predetermined to do this like you know you know what's kind of like yeah no i kind of see what you're saying with it it, it, it makes a lot of sense because then it's like why like why even try anymore exactly you know? exactly if you're like well if my destiny is already set on stone for me like what's the point in fighting it just live my life and whatever happens happens if i get mad and just stab somebody i stab somebody like that's just life you know yeah, like mean, <laughs> <laughs> i guess i guess so that's just life <laughs>